Hey, what is up guys? This is One of a Nine here from One of a Nine TV, and today I'm playing some Tier 6 Strongholds games from World of Tanks. I'm with my clan CMRDE. As you can see, we have three Legionnaires. One of them ended up joining our clan by the end of the day. But we're playing against a clan over um, on the cliff map. We have a slightly heavier lineup than those in the sense that we have an ARL, and they are mostly fast maneuverable medium tanks with one light tank. We have our T50-2 as our scout. And basically everybody else apart from our ARL is in medium tanks. Okay, so I've sent our T50-2 up ahead to scout out where they might be. And the rest of our team is basically going to set up in the E2, F2 area using the ARL gun depression on that little ridge there. Now our T50-2 is getting quite far ahead. This isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but like in the end it's going to work. Um, everybody else is basically crusted together. We have three of us pushing the ARL, and our T-30-45 is right in front of us and to our side. Everybody gets up into this little ridgy area, and the T-50-2 spots the first target, the T-30-485M, which gets kind of pinned up on that corner. Now at this point, I'm assuming that they've all kind of gone up towards the hill area, and then we spot another Cromwell B, and a VK. Now, our T-3045M pushed up a little bit too much, and we wanted him to pull back and wait for our support. And now we basically begin the game of just focusing down the enemies. I take one shot there, but I put one in, and now we start absolutely going to town on these guys. We've already brought down those two Chrome Berlins, basically to half health. And we begin pushing up a little bit more, being a little bit more aggressive. And there we go, our T-3045M has taken out one of their Chrome Bs. I attempt to take out that one, but the guy in front of me takes him out. And then we realize, oh crap, they're coming around the other side. We lose our T50-2, but who really cares? He didn't really do much else that game. Um, and my shots, because also, I'm calling, so it's kind of difficult. Not the easiest thing. I didn't get any damage in there. But I put one into him. I end up actually killing this T37, which is surprising for me. Typically, I average about 500 damage in these games. Um, and now, me and our cr one Cromwell and our VK31D, we're just going to flank around and finish these guys off from the other side. Uh, so, I consider this game pretty successful. Only did about 400, 500 damage. But, in all in all, we did pretty well. Only lost one tank versus taking out seven of theirs. So that was a pretty good game. Now on to the next one. Here is our second game. It is on the uh, steps map, which is... To be honest, not quite my favorite map. I'm not a big fan of it. However, I, we're gonna make it work. Um, we're gonna have an ARL, two Cromwells, two 3485s, VK31D, and a T50 2. Um, they have a KV2, a Pewdle, a Strid 4257, a VK31D, two SU100s, which is a really weird choice for strongholds, and a pair of AMX 12Ts. So we're going to head valley with this group of tanks that we got. We're going to start by pushing the arrow over, at least close enough to the valley. Let's send the T-52 do a quick scout run up the middle. Um, doesn't really, spoiler alert, doesn't really do the greatest job of it, but we're on our way to where we want to be in order to take out the enemy tanks as quickly and easily as possible. So we are well on our way to the valley. The T-50-2 is doing his scout run. Um, he's pushing up, and pretty soon he's going to spot his first target. Oh, well, yeah. There's not really much going on. It's the beginning of a game, especially on Strongholds, which is very cagey. There he goes, spots the KV-2. Um, we continue pushing up. I try and push up to this ridge. Almost sent it a little bit too hard over that ridge. <laughs> but I continue pushing up, and I'm going to push up to this rock. And there we go, I get spotted. Luckily I have six cents in this. Well, actually I was using a six cents directive. That's how I had six cents. I always use those six cents directives on this thing. Um, not really much happened. And then, there we go, RT-50-2 succeeded in flipping himself. So I take one from the Stridsvang M4257, and I'm like, Oh, great, are you serious, dude? You managed to flip yourself, and I'm like, Okay, guys, just hold this position here. I'm gonna go flip him up. And I head off to go do that right now. So the rest of our team is all clustered up in the valley, and I'm pushing back towards our base, taking the long way around to go flip the T-50-2. I'm trying to stay as far away from as possible. They're just fighting the Stutzfang 4257 right now. Uh, spoiler alert, that KV-2 has moved from where he is. 
Um, and their T50 2 basically wasted his tank, and there we go, AMX 12T. Now, in a one on one fight, I should win this. However, I did not realize when I was playing this game that the AMX 12T, they nerfed it so it only gets uh, four shots. I used to, the tank, when I remember playing it, always had six, and I'm like, okay, he's gonna kill me in a one on one. I just need to go in for the ram and just take him out. And unfortunately, I wasn't quick enough on the repair kit, I actually expected to die there, and I get taken out by the pewter. Which, now yeah, well, it leaves the T50-2 flipped, but like, doesn't really matter, it doesn't actually do anything in this game. And now that actually helps me, because as the shot caller, I can now switch over to the other tanks, and I can watch over the game better from there, and I don't have to worry about being able to play myself. Right now, technically, the scores are even, but because I um, died and the other guys flipped his tank, they're actually an advantage, and they take out our Cromwell, which leaves them an even greater advantage. Now, we need to get rid of that SU-100 as quickly as possible, so I'm like, okay, guys, we're going to keep pushing, and I really wish that T-50-2 would have shut up and just let me do my job, because he's trying to tell everybody what to do, and, like, you don't realize, like, when somebody's shot calling, the person who's shot calling, it's their job to tell everybody what to do. And there we go, we've taken out two tanks um, in rapid succession, so now it's actually an even fight, it's 4-on-4. Four four. Uh, but 1-on-9, it's 3-on-2. Yeah, shut up, we don't have a T-50-2 right now. So now we go and I say, okay, the T KV-2's fired, you guys gotta take him out. We put one into him, and <laughs> I'm just gonna let this speak for itself. Yep, that actually happened in the game of Strongholds. We, they flunk out, kill the SU-100, so now it's a 4 on 2. Unfortunately, we have a bunch of tanks that are in really low health. All one-shots for that SU-100, apart from the ARL and the T-50-2, he doesn't even matter. Pewdle ends up killing him in the end, so like, he really cares. Um, so, they're trying to take out this SU-100. He can take out any one of them with one shot, no problem. So, he tries to flank around. Unfortunately, he takes a hit from the Pewdle. Now our T-3045 goes in on him, we lose the VK, so now it's a 3 on 2, however our T-3045 succeeds in killing the SU-100. Now he just needs to get out of there and not get shot by the Pewdle on the way in. Unfortunately they're all really low health, again apart from the ARL, which leaves us in a slightly bad situation, um, that he can basically, if he plays it smart, just pick us off from cover and we won't be able to do anything. Now, I tell everybody, okay, you guys are going to push up to this next little ridge area. Um, thanks to, actually, these guys who were Legionnaires, they actually did a pretty damn good job of listening to me, so that actually really helped. So I'll just hold up here, just wait for the ARL to get there. He's got the health. Let him be the one to push it, and the ARL puts in a good shot. And then, basically, it's just a matter of killing this guy before he can get his shots off and take out these guys. Now... Again, our T50-2 is trying to tell people what to do, and again, that's not what you do, especially when, like, you're playing with a team, like, in a normal game, I understand why you would tell somebody what to do, but, like, what normally what you gotta do is you just gotta shut up, let your shot caller do the work, he's gonna tell you guys what to do. But anyways, we ended up winning that game, even though I died really early on, but there's just one more game for this video. This is the third and final game of the video. Um, I'm on my T21, this is played on a different day, we've got an Aero 44, T150, Paracromwells, VK, 301D, and a Hellcat, and they've got basically a bunch of Cromwells and a T50-2. Now I can tell you right now, I'm not, I'm not showing you any of the post-battle results at the end of these games, because there's not really going to be really much to show. And it's like, this is a team battle, it doesn't matter who does the damage, all that matters is whether you win or lose. So we're going to head over to the uh, right side. Basically, I'm a scout, so I'm going to go up ahead, and I'm going to try and see if I can spot anything. Um, so, so far, so good. It's me and the VK going forward. The T21 is actually like one of my favorite tier 6 tanks. It's really, uh, really underrated. It has amazing camo. For some reason, my camouflage didn't resupply, even though I hadn't played 100 battles in this tank. So I have no idea why I don't have camo on it. But I'm going to head up forward. I'm going to get myself in a bush. And basically, I'm going to use my binoculars and camo net to get myself an insane amount of view range. I believe on this tank I now have the female crew members from the winter event, which give me really good crew skills and stuff, like six cents. I think I have a recon training right now. Like, it's really good. Like, the tank's going to be so much fun. Um, so far, I don't spot anything. 
So I continue, I just push up all the way to the edge, and I'm gonna come back around a little bit. So that's our already strike consumable. Never really use it effectively, but like, and okay, there's their T50 2. I snap a shot in at him, not into him though. Fortunately, don't hit, and then I pull back, regroup with the rest of the team. So basically, my thoughts are right now is I don't know what to do, because like, I'm assuming they're going Magic Forest, but we can't. We just simply can't face off on them in a one of one because we have our two heavy tanks, so they're slow and maneuverable. So I'm wondering what our best course of action is at this point in the game. At this point, I'm probably thinking, hmm, we should probably just push forward. So I tell the ARL and the T44 to push forward. T150, sorry. Uh, to push forward, and I leave the Cromwell back and I say, everybody, okay, we're gonna go forward. And at this point, we're too far away from the cab, and I actually snapshot this T50 2. Which is pretty good considering the Cromwell doesn't have vertical stabilizers, then our ARL hits him. So he's really in a bad way, and then that shot goes into the dirt, unfortunately. And now I'm like, okay, we just need to push forward. I say, okay, let's go for the cap. They're like, there's only a T50-2 there. I said, Cromwell, get yourself in a position where you can cover your cap. I set myself up in a spotting position, see if I can spot anything. Still don't spot the T50-2. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to move forward. Let's go for the cap. Because we've had this trick pulled on us where basically somebody baited this out with a few tanks and then had everybody go around the other way and just fast cap us out. And, of course, we were just far enough away so we couldn't get back, I think we missed it by about 5 meters, being able to get a reset in. And now I rush into the cap, and there we go, we spot Cromwell B. On the other end of the Cromwell. <laughs> yeah, like, the two more Cromwells. Like, this is gonna be so close. They decide, oh crap, they're fast capping us. We are actually slightly ahead on the cap. Like, tenths of a second ahead. And there's one Cromwell on our team back, and he gets an absolutely insane reset. Doesn't even do any damage, he just damaged a module or something on the enemy team. And because of that, we're actually going to win by capping, and then their T50-2 shows up, and he's about to try and get in this reset. Unfortunately, immediately for them, our ARL obliterates him. And because of that, this game actually ends as a win. The replay doesn't show it, but it came up as a win for us. Yep, that's a, an amazing game for us by our standards. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if by any chance you're interested in joining our clan, you can always search us up on the World of Tanks clan portal. Uh, anyways, have a great day, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.